For over 80 years, the award-winning open-air theatre has been a firm fixture of summer in the city, providing a cultural hub in the beautiful surroundings of a royal park. Built upon a core of outstanding dramatic credentials, the open-air theatre never fails to deliver bold and dynamic work. Here's artistic director Timothy Shida to tell us about the magic of the open air. The experience here uh, is about arriving early, is about arriving in daylight usually, not always, but in daylight in the, through Queen Mary's Gardens and then having a picnic, um, having a barbecue, having pims, having champagne, having beer, having lemonade. It is a full glorious night out. If you're in town in early July, then you may be lucky enough to get a ticket to the second show in open air season, Hobson's Choice. Here's Tim to tell you all about it. It's the most fantastically constructed three-act comedy that is obviously very funny, but very, very moving. It is a very sentimental, funny, observed comedy, relationships of fathers and daughters of misogynistic fathers and rebellious daughters and uh, and that is causes great humor it's a play i love and i think i've loved it for many 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 years following hobson's choice is open air's annual musical production which is one of the top tickets each summer we asked him what audiences are in store for this year they're going to see a new musical version of but gershwin's porgy and bess with amazing tip-top best performers and singers who are, who, are going, who are committed to telling the story in this new musical theatre vernacular. It means that there is more psychological realism in it. The characters are more, are more uh, vividly painted. They are more naturalistic. They are more, their, their wants, their needs, their desires are perhaps more uh, personable and more direct with us because they're speaking them and, the, and, and they speak and, and then they grow towards these great arias as opposed to singing all of it. More of the jazz comes out in the score. Um, it's, it's not sung operatically, it's sung classically, but they still have to sing this amazing Gershwin score, which is not easy to sing. So casting has been very difficult and very challenging and very exciting. We've got two principals playing the same roles. Nicola Hughes playing Bess in Trevor Nunn's production and Philip Boykin played Crown on Broadway in 2012 and is playing it here. Horgy is American and Bess is British, which feels quite exciting. They've all got the technical, um, physical singing ability, but they're all really good, exciting actors to be able to work with um, uh, in terms of telling the story as well. I'm personally interested in the Bess story, which is slightly bit peculiar because it, the, the source material to the opera was a, a first a novel called Porgy in which Bess was an incidental character and certainly in my version Bess is the main part and it is absolutely the story of Bess, this calm and sexually empowered woman and her struggles to be a sexually empowered woman in this rather conservative community. The opening song of this consistently amazing score is Summertime and to, to, to be singing that in daylight, at the close of a day when it is set, the men are coming home from work, the women are preparing the dinner, to be singing summertime at quarter to eight in the evening in a, in a royal park felt, felt too good an opportunity to miss. To see the very best quality drama in this magical setting is a secret that locals have kept too long. So go and enjoy this enchanting experience.